Thailand has unveiled its new ministry after last month's cabinet shakeup. The chairman of the Thai Bankers Association is now finance minister, and the foreign and energy ministers will double as deputy prime ministers. Saksis Sambat has more about the changes and challenges ahead. It wasn't a grand overhaul of the Thai cabinet as many have anticipated, but there are still some major key appointments of some major ministries. Headlining the new crop of new faces is the new finance minister, Pridi Daushai, the former co-president of Kasikom Bank and the chairman of the Thai Bankers Association. Former petrochemical executive Supat Tanapong Panmishao will serve double duty as energy minister and now one of six deputy prime ministers. These men are expected to bring in new ideas how to stimulate a Thai economy that has very much been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. But observers remain skeptical that these new faces will bring any change in the short run. Uh, the economy was already going south uh, before the pandemic and now we're going to see even a deeper contraction. Uh, but the problem with the economy is not about, uh, you know, the pandemic has induced uh, contraction and this is worldwide, uh, recession contraction. But before pandemic, the Thai economy had no no clear direction and momentum. There was talk. There were talks about Thailand 4.0, Eastern Economic Corridor, and they kind of dropped the ball. And it showed that the technocrats who were behind those schemes, um, they became politicized. They they played like politicians. This follows weeks of speculations of a cabinet reshuffle after the exits of some high-profile ministers, most notably the government's economics deputy prime minister Somkit Chattusi Pitak and his protégés in the cabinet. Now, it would be obvious to see those movements as a response to the current economic situation, but what actually happened is this is the result of weeks of infighting within the ruling Palang Pasara party with the veteran politicians on one side that are bringing in the bulk of numbers in parliament and the technocrats on the other side uh, that came with the military coup of 2014. They were supposed to bring in new ideas and policies how to bring the country forward. But now, since the technocrats have been sent packing uh, at at least now with the cabinet reshuffle done, Prime Minister Prayut hopes that this will at least settle uh, the quarrels for now. But on the other hand, there are now student protests against the government happening for over two weeks now, calling for Prime Minister Prayut to resign, saying that this government is nothing but military rule under a different name. But they are also accusing the government of mishandling the economic fallout of the pandemic. So even though the cabinet reshuffle has been completed, the challenges for the government have not gotten any smaller. Saksit Sarasombat, CNA Bangkok.